Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to The Lost. I am Stanosa and I am back with another Overwatch News Blast video. And today, we're going to talk about what Jeff has been going on about on the forums. Quite a few posts off Jeff just recently and there's quite a bit of information here. So I'm going to wrap this all up together in a nice little funky video. So the first thing we've got is the end of Season 4. This will end towards the end of May and this is what Jeff says. Season 4 will come to a close towards the end of May. The competitive play card will update with a timer later in the month with the exact time. Season 5 should start around the 1st of June. So of course this means if you haven't done your placement games, well go and do your placement games and if you're trying to get somewhere, like maybe hit one of your goals on the ladder, maybe get into Platinum, get into Diamond, get into GM, even get into Top 500 or Master or whatever, now is the time to go out there and start playing because your time's going to run out and you don't want that to happen. The next thing we've got is uh, it's coming in the next major content patch. Now of course this is in reference to a Sombra Sit emote, so whenever the next major content patch drops, which you know we all seem to think this is event 6 and it's going to happen around the anniversary of Overwatch. I mean, who knows? Um, when that happens, then there will be a, well, a, a sit emote for Sombra. So if you've ever wanted the sit emote for Sombra, well, you're going to get it, ladies and gentlemen, so rejoice. And then somebody asked about the PTR res feed. Change it to be all on one line. Now, this is the way the PTR kind of works at the moment. It um, shows Mercy's ultimate off in the kill feed, and it does kind of look a little bit bloated, but there's a reason for that, and this is what Jeff says. We debated doing it this way originally, but opted for the direction we choose for a few reasons. If a player gets a big multi-kill, it blows out the feed, allowing you to know that something big just happened immediately without even looking at the details. Think of Reaper getting a team wipe with Death Blossom. We wanted the same feel to a Mercy Res. We felt like it should be that impactful. While the kill field field is hi why do we always say kill field? What the hell? While the kill feed is highly informational, we also want it to be an intuitive gauge for players without having to overly study every detail. We want your eyes on the play field, not the UI. With that said, we're open-minded when it comes to change on the kill feed, and I think we'll all be better informed when players play with it for a while in the live game. So this is basically saying the reason why she currently spams out the kill feed in the PTR is because the res is a major thing, and it is, right? Basically, the entire team have come back from the dead. So if that happens, you know it's bad news for you. You probably need to get running away or die fast or do something like that. Or maybe use your ultimates if you've been saving them waiting for the res. You know, it's good information. It's useful information. But like Jeff says, we'll only really know if this is any good once it hits the live servers, which is basically the same with pretty much every major balance change or major UI change like this. We don't really know until it goes on live servers. I mean, I just tried to play on the PTR and I was in a queue for 13 minutes for a quick play game and I just quit the queue. I mean, that's how like underpopulated the PTR is. So it is difficult to test. Somebody asked Jeff about um, gun game. Um, this would be a fun mode and this is what Jeff says. We're big fans of gun game. We'd like to try something like this at some point. Now, gun game, uh, I believe, is from CS. So basically, you start off with the worst gun and, uh, well, actually, it, that's kind of not true because you, you typically end it with the knife, I think, on Counter-Strike. Um, but you start off with a weapon, you kill somebody, you get a different weapon and you basically race through all the weapons and whoever gets to the, the final weapon, which was the knife in Counter-Strike, wins the round. It would be fun to see something like that on Overwatch. You know, maybe we all start swapping weapons. I mean, what would be the, the worst weapon weapon in Overwatch, I guess it would be... Well, it wouldn't even really be Mercy's Pistol, would it? I was going to say it'd be Mercy's Pistol, but I don't think it is. Um, I don't know. Guys, what do you think is the worst weapon in Overwatch? <laughs> what, how would you end an Overwatch gun game? That's pretty interesting. Uh, somebody also asked him, will the Numbani airport remain damaged? And Jeff has said, well, have you ever tried to find a good contractor? Now, for anybody who's not in the US, I believe that means find a builder. Um, Checkatrade.com. <laughs> That's UK, right? Yeah. I'll get my coat. So somebody asked about the current PTR changes and Jeff said, nothing is going live today. We're still testing on the PTR. We constantly evaluate changes. So yes, we're looking at them closely. Right now, we're mostly okay with things minus a few bugs, which remember that's what the PTR is for, planning, making sure there's no bugs. We are looking at the change to Arissa's damage, however, and we'll likely make changes to then tuning on the PTR. Uh, do you have any more specific feedback beyond that you disagree with the changes? So he's basically asking the guy what he's talking about. Um, yeah, so this is saying that they're probably going to up Arissa's damage. The problem with Arissa right now on the PTR is, yes, she has received a massive buff to her damage absorption, but her actual damage output has been absolutely destroyed. It, it, it was difficult anyway to do effective damage with, uh, with Arissa. Like, you can fire into barriers and that's cool, but trying to kill enemy players is pretty difficult. On the PTR, she does less damage, so it's even even more difficult now so she's in a bit of a weird state where she can just sort of put barriers down but she's got no I guess sting in the tail I mean I covered this in detail in my Arisa video but yeah she's a complex one I think she will see more changes before she actually goes live and like Jeff said that you know she will 
And then finally, um, somebody asked me about saving and exporting highlights. Now, this is something that we do need, and this is what he says. This is the current focus of the feature team, one of the smaller development strike teams on the Overwatch team. The team is working extremely hard on this and has been for months. Expect more details early in the summer. This is good. We need replays. We need to be able to save our game. You think how uh, like we will become much better players as a result of having that. Look at all the other Blizzard games that have got this. You know, you look at your StarCrafts and all of that stuff. You can load replays in and look at what you were doing in the game and analyze exactly what you've done. This will mean my overanalyze series will be awesome because I'll be able to just load the game in and fly around with free cam and check out what's been going on. Check out positionings. Check out all kinds of stuff. It would be awesome and it'd be easy for you guys to send replays into me because you won't actually have to record anything that'd be awesome but beyond all of that it's great for every player because you can just go in and watch your games back and think okay i should have done this i should have done that so we need that anyway guys this has been an overwatch news blast jeff has been quite active on the forums and uh it looks like we're getting no major ptr update today which i kind of thought we might have done but there are still a lot of things being worked on let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below guys i've been stylos this is unit Lost. you can follow me on twitter which is at unit Lost gaming and you can join the unit Lost discord server which i think is dead close to 10,000 members that is uh discord.gg forward slash unit lost and i'll catch you next time guys toodaloo Oh, and uh, one more thing, ladies and gentlemen. This literally happened as I was editing this video. The World Cup nominations are all out now. So if you go to the World Cup page, you can see who is the committee for your nation. And you can see the brackets that they've been placed in and the teams that they'll have to play in the qualifier phase. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.